And now, John begins his descent to madness. The perfect mixture. A bigger stance than... <laughs> From the side of the 2008. What the fl Welcome back to SG Karma Reviews. I think 2021 is a very exciting year for compact SUVs because there are quite a few that were released. And today we have the Peugeot 2008, which I think is the best looking of the lot. And why do I say it's good looking? I feel that Peugeot has perfectly balanced the curves and the straight creases to make this car look extremely distinct without being overly bulbous or rigid looking like its competitors. Just look at how this bonnet looks. It's very, for the lack of a better word, it looks perfect to me. Yeah. And then the attention to details to the double zeros in the 2008. It's just a nice touch. And for the headlamps, you know, Peugeot calls these headlamps claws you know, because of the lion badge. Combined with this very long DRL, at night, if you see this car coming up from your, from your rear, in your rear view mirror, it actually looks like a very aggressive pair of fangs. Yes, I think the 2008 looks very aggressive from the front and that's a good thing because it just feels very sporty and nice. I like how the front looks. Yes, it unlocks when I walk near it with the key fob. And it will lock if I walk away. So that is a good function to have. But from the side of the 2008, I think it's a mixture of the two-tone paint, the combination of cr nice curves and straight lines, and also this huge fuel gate here that gives the 2008 an impression that it's a big car. This is a compact SUV, but it's always a good thing when your car looks big on the road. Oh yeah, yes, you see it locks because I'm getting further away from it. Good stuff there. Now to the boot. The Peugeot 2008 is priced from $120,000 to $130,000 in category ACOE. The 1.2 litre turbocharged engine produces 129 brake horsepower and 230 newton meters of torque. The 8-speed automatic transmission brings the car from 0 to 100 in 9.1 seconds. For more details on the Peugeot 2008 or any other car, head on to sgcarmart.com to help you make the smart choice on your next car. And in the boot of the 2008, you get a parcel shelf that nobody uses. But the good thing is, you can put hide it in the boot floor. And I like the boot floor, there's this really posh feeling handle. Lovely stuff. Yes, and what you have is 434 litres worth of boot space. Doesn't pass the anti-trolley length test. Does it pass the luggage test? Uh, it's a bit, a bit short, but shouldn't have a problem when you turn everything in. Yes, lovely. And you can also fold down the rear seats if you want more space. And because it's not a very long boot, you can push it down easily and everything fits inside. In the back of the 2008, as you can see, I'm 1.8 meters tall. This is my driving position. Loads of knee room, loads of foot space as well. Headroom is great as well, so you won't hit the back of the car. Um, for equipment, there are no aircon vents, but there are two USB ports and there are isofix points. There are, there's no cup holder here. What's more important is the middle passenger seat. How does it feel? actually surprisingly good. The seat belt receptacles don't stab my butt and the seat is actually plush. So yeah, you can actually sit a, an adult here for a short ride without feeling too uncomfortable. Good stuff there. To the front seat. Just look at the cabin of the 2008. I think it is head and shoulders above the competition. It's just so stylish looking and premium feeling. Just look at all the soft touch materials and this carbon fiber trim here it's also soft touch materials that was very surprising when i first touched it and look at this i don't know how to describe it it's a piece of plastic but then it just adds so much character in the cabin and beyond this very interesting looking plastic piece is the instrument cluster which has another wow factor it is what peugeot calls the 3d i cockpit if you can see there's actually two kind of like two screens there is 
one screen at the back and then there's another one that looks like a heads-up display type of screen so there are two layers and you know, it adds a bit of fun while you're driving and speaking of character one of the most distinct things about uh, a Peugeot is its steering wheel it's nice and small and is it it's very fun to steer in the car park and on the expressway I'll explain why later and on the steering wheel you get this very lovely looking lime green uh, stitching yeah it just looks good here you have a seven inch touch screen it has apple carplay and android auto easy to use easy to understand and below are these very nice buttons that we first saw on the peugeot 3008 some functions are here and it's very nice to the touch unfortunately there are no aircon controls all of it is done in the infotainment system and down below you see this piano black panel which is another wow factor for me because just press this and you have your wireless charging pad so you can just put your phone in here and charge it see did peugeot need to actually do this cover for the charging pad no it didn't but they did and it adds so much more to the cabin so much more style and finesse i love it down here is the gear shifter easy to use easy to understand and it's surrounded by this black piano, piano black plastic trim good stuff all in all i really like the cabin of the 2008 it's just full of character gives you the wow when you first get in yeah i I love the cabin. The only thing left to do is to see how the 2008 drives. Let's go! So what is it like driving the Peugeot 2008? Some performance figures first. Up front is a 1.2 litre turbocharged engine that produces 129 brake horsepower and 230 newton meters of torque these figures are on the upper echelon of cat category a coe cars and i must say i absolutely enjoy this drivetrain because i don't know if you can hear it but let me accelerate a bit the engine sounds great the engine sounds like a more expensive sports car like a Cooper S engine. I don't know why it's three cylinder, the Cooper S is, is four cylinders, but the engine note of this car is extremely nice. It makes you want to step down on the accelerator. And the eight speed automatic transmission is a torque converter transmission. So you do notice the gear changes a bit more than a dual clutch transmission, but it is not like jerking every time it changes. Um, gears it is actually a very nice car to um, step on the pedal and then accelerate into the first lane oof yes this car makes it feel like it's a very sporty car even though it's a compact SUV it's only a 1.2 liter engine so how is it like handling the Peugeot 2008 okay in a car park like setting like I am now the steering is very light and it makes maneuvering around the car park and parking very easy because all you need to do is just do some quick turns and that's it but as you pick up speed as i am going to do now the steering wheel weights up a lot more and then oh it's very communicative and it's not as direct as you know sports cars but it is very nice to steer in terms of handling it goes around the bends quite like a hatchback and not so much uh, what you expect from an SUV and the suspension is set up for a more sporty drive and so actually there's very little body roll despite it being a taller car than a hatchback so that yeah that's not bad uh, in terms of driver assistance there is lane keep assist which I think is slightly more firm than other cars and then then i would like also it, it really like warns you like oh we are really going out of your lane and it will really pull you back in so yeah that's good actually it keeps you safe on the road there is regular cruise, cruise control and a speed limiter function and the car recognizes speed signs and apparently if you switch on the right features it should be able to adjust the max speed 
that you are driving at. So yeah, that's good. You just need to put your foot down the pedal and then this car will adjust the speed according to the speed limit. Uh, the slight bug bear I have about cruise control is the, the cruise control controls are at this position behind the steering wheel where it's not possible for you to actually see it. You have to feel it and then learn how to control it via muscle memory. Yeah, so it's something you need to get used to. Basically, that's it. It's a comfortable car to drive. You can do many miles in it. Yeah. So as usual, we have will buy, won't buy, or go try the Peugeot 2008. And if you have been paying attention the entire video, you would know I'm going to say will buy because this car looks awesome on the outside and on the inside. Outside, it just looks very distinct, aggressive on the front, and the sheet metal, there are the right curves and the right creases at the right places. And on the inside, when I first saw the cabin, I wasn't expecting much actually, but when I stepped in, I was like, whoa! I was blown away by how well thought out the, the, design, of this, the design of this car is the inside uh, I mean what blew me away was actually the wireless charging pad that that, that little panel that flipped open oh my goodness <laughs> it, it just makes me feel like this car is really worth the money I pay and then the instrument cluster has this plastic trim at the outside that makes it look like you know it, it, if I could summarize it Peugeot put in effort to make the interior wow you they could have done things simply not have that wireless charging back pad cover could have kept the instrument cluster with a nice clean design but instead they did what they did and it resulted in a cabin that makes you feel very happy that you bought this car and then on the road i love how the drivetrain is the car is responsive and peppy when i need it to be and the steering is fun in, in the in a multi-story car park it's very light and you can spin the steering wheel around very quickly and on the expressway it weights up and then you, it provides confidence when you're taking the corners and the sound of the engine it just sounds like this car is more expensive than it is so that's why it is a will buy for me so there you have it the review of the Peugeot 2008. Do you agree or disagree with my verdict of will buy? Let me know in the comment section below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification icon. And most importantly, follow us on TikTok, SG Karmat on TikTok. Yes, I know some of you might be on the older side and say, what's this TikTok thing? Isn't Instagram the, the, the newest thing? No, it's all on TikTok and we are doing a lot of clown-like videos for you guys on TikTok to keep you entertained. So please follow us. And yes, I hope you enjoyed the review. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.